Davis and this is Taskmaster Welcome. Over the past few months, five comedians, all with enormous potential, have been competing in a series of ridiculous tasks. And it's here that they come to watch their trial unfold. I say trial because this is basically a courtroom with me as their judge and jury. And like in any courtroom, I will judge their actions both severely and without the slightest hint of compassion. <laughs> At the end of the series, the person that's accumulated the most points will go home with this. <gasps> Ooh. The Taskmaster Trophy. So, let's crack on and meet the people that want to win it. They are... Ashling B! Paul <laughs> Mortimer! Mark Watson! Nish Kumar! And Sally Phillips! <laughs> and perched next to me, he's the thought that counts. Oh, look! It's little it's Alex, Alex Horn! <laughs> Alex, what are you? What am I? <laughs> I'm a normal guy. A normal guy. I shoot from the I shoot from the hip. <laughs> so appalling aim is too low. And also, <laughs> this is a fact about me. I brush my teeth with um, Primula, like the cheese spread, because <laughs> it's the same packaging. And it turns out when you're an adult, you do what you want. <laughs> On we go with the show. On we go, yes. It's the prize task, first of all. Uh, each week, the five aren't just competing for precious points, but also for each other's belongings. And for this show's prize item, we donned our thinking caps and then asked them to bring in the hippest item of headwear. Oh. Yes. At the end of the show, one of them will go home with five items of hip headwear. OK. Mm -hmm. Nish Kumar. Mm -hmm. Hello. Tell me about your hat and tell me why it's hip. The hat that I've brought in was made for me uh, in Disneyland, <gasps> my father's nickname for me is Nishi. Here we go. There. With an oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nishi, according to Urban Dictionary, is a, a very approachable, friendly, sexy girl. <laughs> and of course, when I want to buy hip things, I head to Disney World. Disney World. <laughs> Can see Ashling's hip hat? Yeah, I do, please. Okay. I thought to myself, uh, biodegradable eco-friendly, maybe a celebrity endorsement. And this is my hat. It's a Yorkshire pudding hat! <laughs> when is a hat not a meal? <laughs> hey, Bob, we haven't got time for philosophy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who are we seeing next? We're going to see Sally Phillips. Phillips. Well, um, it's uh, headwear and it has some hips on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of more eyewear than headwear. It's not! It looks not, like weird. The hips opposite. are attached to the white balaclava and on the top of the balaclava, in case this came up... Right. ..I've attached a beret. Do you know how I describe that in my notes? I describe that as hip-hip beret. <laughs> Very pleased with that. I've told you about, um, the jokes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so sorry. OK. Um, who's next? Mark Watson's hat next. Mark Watson. Well, I've got a hat which um, is, uh, has neon on it and it lights up with the Taskmaster logo. I'll show it to you. Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I used a little trick we call paying £400. <laughs> Imagine how, how awful it would be, though, if you spent all that money and then the person judging decided that you, you yeah. should probably go last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's next? Uh, Bob, right? Last one. Yes. Hello, Bob. Hi. Hi, Bob. Yes, my um, hat was a gift to me from my friend uh, Vic, Vic Reeves, Jim Moyer, a few years back, and he described it to me as a military hat for a future war. <laughs> 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 I think it's pretty hip. Are you ready? Um, Here it is. <laughs> Yeah? You're going to have to judge them now. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you want to start in the middle? Start with a third bit. <laughs> and then work out. I like eating. I know that. <gasps> Feels like a third place bang. I'm always third place. Oh. oh. 
and sometimes I will pay even 400 quid just for that. <laughs> being in third place. We don't know yet how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how it works out. Fourth place. <laughs> Most of the time I try and use logic, but that was just gut instinct. Yeah, yeah. It just came and fizzed up inside me. I, well, now I feel awful. Well, we share a gut instinct, because I sort of wish I hadn't done it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a game and guess who's last. <laughs> Can I enter the game? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> so it's either a hat made of actual hips or a war hat. <laughs> I'm going to go for the brilliant literal interpretation and give it to Sally Phillips. Uh, she <laughs> makes the... I mean, if any consolation, I do feel genuinely awful. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. Is it worth me saying my line now to lighten the mood? Yeah. Hats entertainment. Hats entertainment. What have I told you? I, did... <laughs> I sought permission. Just give me the first task. Okay. The first task is what we call essential engineering work. Oh no. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sally. <gasps> I see the task is on the um, coconut. Make the best coconut flinging machine. You have 20 minutes and one attempt furthest coconut fling wins. Your time starts now. OK, I'd better go and have a look in the shed. So I have, to, I have to make a machine to get this as far as possible. Is that what it says? So presumably I can't just pick it up and chuck it. Are you a machine? No. <laughs> uh, OK, so I've got to make a machine. Right. It's a sort of classic Taskmaster fodder, really, isn't it? Five well-educated people <laughs> constructing a machine to fire a coconut as far as possible. OK, we're going to see the construction process of a machine, first of all, and we've grouped together Sally, Nish and Ashling because it felt nice slash right. Oh. OK. <laughs> God, it's going to be so good. So, like, a, 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 I need a fulcrum of some sort. Oh, hello! What have we here? <laughs> I'm gonna gaffer tape the bottom of this um, roller blade to the coconut to make it heavier. And also, when it lands, it'll be able to roll a bit further. <laughs> Quick problem. Get a cup of tea, could I? Eleven minutes left. Mm. I'm a bit nervous now, to be honest. What about? Time. <laughs> right, here we go. Ow! Okay. We're ready to go. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to find a fulcrum. <laughs> yeah. I could use you. Place yourself under that. So that goes down like that. What about... No, it's not quite staying in place, is it? Shitting piss. <laughs> right, this is it. Do it. Mm. Well, I think we can all agree that they made machines of sorts. Yes. Can we? We had a bow, a fulcrum. You said fulcrum twice within the first minute. Mm. You double fulcrumed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then a, a catapult system. Yeah. OK, so this is all three of their actual attempts. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yes. Five, four... Am I doing it on one? Kelly? Good night and good luck. Five, four, three, two, one... Launch! <laughs> It's finished rolling? It's finished rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Both 
the films Gladiator and Braveheart would never have gone anywhere if that was the first shot fired. <laughs> Hindsight is 2020, Gregory. You know, sometimes you just set yourself up, you think I'm going to be a fat Indian Robin Hood, and you go for it, OK? <laughs> Let's talk cold facts. Okay. Tell me some distance. Well, Ashling's travelled uh, 4 metres 40. <gasps> Bearing in mind, Ooh. you were standing on a, on a sloped driveway, which is well over 4 minutes 40, and it was on a, uh, a roller skate, so you could have just pushed it... <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Nish, <laughs> yes, five Alex. metres thirty, which Ooh. is the equivalent, Damn it. The wow. equivalent of flinging a coconut over an enormous river, a very deep but narrow river. <laughs> imagine getting less than that. Yes. Mighty boat. I don't have to imagine. It's happened. <laughs> <laughs> and Sally, <laughs> Sally, exactly the same length as her stick. Um, <laughs> five metres fifty. Oh. oh. <laughs> Bob and Mark are still to fling, but first, loads and loads of adverts. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, where we are just having such a great time together. Uh, I can't remember what was happening, though, Alex. Well, our five affluent competitors are trying to make coconut <laughs> flinging machines. So far, Sally Nish and Ashling have made machines and flung. Let's take a look at Bob and Mark constructing their flingers. Now, I'm not very mechanically minded, so I'm... I'm what not... are you looking for? I, that's the problem. I'm just looking around for any obvious coconut flinging devices, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> I can practice, yeah? Yes. Where do I do my flinging? Wherever you want, Bob. Hmm. I'm going to give this a go. Just see what's... You know what I mean? OK. Let's see what the feeling of, of it is. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, hi. How will you know that the coconut's been flung? Oh, like, I'll be watching. Yeah, but, I mean, what's the actual... What designates What it, do you think flinging fling? means? Well, flinging means throwing, really, doesn't it? Have you seen machines? Tell me the most basic machine you've ever seen. I'd say a machine is almost anything mechanical, really. OK, and you've got a hat. Yeah. Is that mechanical? Yeah. A hat is mechanical. That's a nice fit. You just... I'm just, um, testing the workings of the, uh, machine. Sorry, the hat. What's the... This is my finger, finger machine. I'm ready to do it. OK. Good luck, Mark. Thank you. I put it to you, Mark, that a hat is not a machine. <laughs> Your other hat was more a machine, the one who paid 400 quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did find evidence on the internet that a hat can be a machine, which I then sent to Alex. You did Ooh. send me a link to a site which it seemed like there was evidence that machines could include hats. Do you want to see it? It's called Wikipedia. <laughs> And the entrant on machines, the final word there, you can see a list of machines. <laughs> <laughs> Computers, television, <laughs> radio, and hats. I... See, the thing is, my instinct is that the crutch is more of a machine. Well, it's metal and it had moving it's parts. It's metal, that it's got I moving parts. And you utilise purposes. one of the moving parts. Yeah. <laughs> OK, here are the machine <laughs> and hat in action. Yep. Good luck, Bob. Thank you. One fling. Are you ready? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Thing. Well, it's a distance that you can measure. You hit my clock. Oh. <laughs> Bob used his crutch, uh, and you saw it struck my clock. It actually turned the clock off. I don't know if you want to factor that in, and it Jesus. went 16 metres and 20 Ooh. centimetres. Ooh. Mark, 18 metres and 90 centimetres. What? Mm. <laughs> if I were to disqualify Mark for not creating a machine, he'd get no points, right? <laughs> I've not seen you like this before. I've never felt this conflicted. <laughs> I'm going to give Mark Watson an absolute maximum of two points. That's what I'm going to give him. So it might go down. <laughs> 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 I 
it might go down. Okay. <laughs> I won't write it yet. <laughs> write it now. And then do the rest by distance. So Bob's crutch is a machine. That's correct. Ooh. Lucky lad, I'm a lucky lad. Four points for Sally Phillips. Yes. Three for Nish Kumar. Correct. Mark gets two. Does Ashling also get two? Or does she she get also one? gets two. <laughs> <laughs> How are the scores looking now, Alex? It's a tie for first place. Bob and Sally are both on nine points. <laughs> Delightful. What's next? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm completely in the dark about the next one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Big up for the rave up. Oh, wow, luminosity. Well, I don't... I'm really worried about this already. What have we got here, then? <laughs> I'm bad at these when I can see. Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Alex. It's, um, dark, isn't it? Paint the best rainbow scene. You may not open the lab door until the task is complete. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. We're on this. Yes, please. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't see the colours. <laughs> It's very nice to have the, the task really spelled out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, see them. OK, uh, how about Bob, Sally and Ashling? Yeah, lovely. OK. It's not every day that you wake up and somebody's been murdered on top of you, is it? <laughs> it can be whatever you want, but the rainbow scene would be nice. Two beautiful gay women. Yes, if you, if you could. I'm going to do something very xenophobic against Irish people, which is put a little pot of gold where all the leprechauns do be hanging out. My very first job was as a painter and decorator. I saw the woman whose house, first house we painted, and she said it had never need painting since because it fucking burnt down. <laughs> That's my mate. Why are you using my mate? The paint's very thick in this one. Shit, it's thick! <laughs> I'm happy with that. And now for a cup of tea for this man. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, it's my favourite quote of the show so far. Shit, it's thick. <laughs> Well, one of them was Marmite, as we heard. Uh, did Sally say that it was Marmite? Yeah, she, she did. This is Marmite. Well, Sally noticed it was Marmite and said she was going to paint two lesbians uh, <laughs> using a test your strength machine. I know. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do is to drill down into that a little bit. <laughs> Rainbow. I'm thinking lesbians. it's like gay pride, two beautiful lesbian women. Yeah. Strength What's the test? Well, that's like machine. a thing everyone knows lesbians love using. You test your strength machine. They can't walk past <laughs> on a different level. We can see all three if you want. Let's have a look at them, yeah? yeah. Okay, here they are. <laughs> well, we, I mean, the, the awful news is one of the lesbians <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Two, so but weird. one is painted in white. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think there's a bigger issue for us to discuss, and that's the fact that the leprechaun appears to be smeared in its own shit. <laughs> 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 oh. can, can I just explain what Bob did? The bottom bit of your rainbow. It's a little man. You said oh. he's called Matthew and he's being chased by a policeman, but you can't see the policeman. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely day for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the quality of the rainbow. You've got a system for remembering the colours of the rainbow. Yes, well, the bottom two, violet and indigo, don't really count because they're both purple. So, for me, it's Richard of York gave battle purple, purple. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, no one, no one got it right. No one got it right, but it would be difficult in the dark. OK, well, do you want to have a look at Nish? Nish uh, <laughs> decided to use another sense. I suppose the point of this task is to work out what colour is which. And how are you going to do that? Can I smell them? Oh, what does that smell like? Red. Oh! They smell like the colours. That smells like chocolate. 
Right, I've got to find strawberry first, because red is at the top. Everything smells of lemon! You're ten seconds late. Oh, shit and piss. <laughs> Nish, stop painting. Nish, we can see you. Nish, put the pot down. Put the pot down, Nish. So they were all infused with correct sense, reflecting the colours. Um, it was really nice to see, you know, someone using their brain. You know, these might be different <laughs> things. I'm going to smell them. I think you might like the picture. Let's have a look. OK, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Lovely art. Is it a scene? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a scene, mate! I like the fact <laughs> you smelt them. I don't think it's a scene. Oh, come on, mate. Uh, here I come again with a link to some adverts. <laughs> Bye. Welcome back to the third instalment of tonight's episode. Alex, please fill our lovely audience in on the current task situation and make sure it's the funniest thing that you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> our contestants were painting in the dark. <laughs> Just Mark Watson left to go. <laughs> <laughs> Nish noticed that we'd assigned sense to the corresponding paint colour. Will Mark... The man who most closely resembles the character in his boiler suit be any good at painting rainbows in the dark? Absolute horseshit. <laughs> yeah, so when I draw on there, I'm not going to be able to see anything at all. That's Why? the fun of the task. Why not? Uh, it's too dark. Ah. Red, I'm just thinking red because that's where we start our rainbow. The tricky thing is not losing my um, bearings, isn't it? I don't think there's a way that I'm missing of supplying myself with light. I mean, there is a... I look for the light switch there. I don't think it probably is, but it would be silly of me not to at least try. I didn't say I can't turn the light on. <laughs> hmm, that does help. Uh, is that against the rules? Well, it's a lot easier like this. It's much easier, actually, yes. This is why normally we have lights. Uh, I've made it easier for myself, certainly, but everyone will do that. But everyone will put the light on, so it's all about the quality of the rain there. An absolutely legitimate move, right? The light switch was there for all five. It was lit by the square. If you oh, watch right. back, it is always there. And they just said you can't leave the room. <sighs> <laughs> Question is, was your picture any good? I think there's one element of the rainbow which you'd be surprised that he got wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is worse than what we did in the dark. <laughs> Jesus Christ, rainbows have only got one physical characteristic. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should focus on the two witnesses. Do they seem unimpressed? No, they're saying wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can see all five now. Yeah, let's have a look. Decide. Let's have a look. Now, I would argue that Bob's is a horrible scene. <laughs> A dystopian nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as a consequence, I, I think I'm going to pop him in last place. OK. Oh. Fair enough. OK. <laughs> one point. Um, and uh, one up from him. He did some good smelling, but that's not a scene. It's rubbish. Uh, the most intelligent person in the room, arguably, was the person who worked out how to turn the light on. Then he let himself down horribly. <laughs> But by not understanding the basics. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put Mark in third place. It's the leprechaun or the lesbian? I think that... <laughs> I suspect, and feel free to write in lesbians, <laughs> I, I suspect that they don't feel the need <laughs> to prove their strength using an old-fashioned test your strength machine, but I can't prove that leprechauns don't smear shit up. <laughs> Ashling in first place. So Ashling is in first place. <laughs> I never went on easy. <laughs> uh, we need to crack on. Alex, can we have a quick task, please? <laughs> quick one. Okay. Well, this one is the best one since sliced. Well, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> There is a loaf 
of bread in the lab. Slice the loaf as neatly as possible. You may use one tool only, and that tool must be found in this caravan, where there is also a loaf of bread, but that's, the bread's not here, the bread's in the lab. Slice in the lab, so not this loaf, a different loaf. You have five minutes, your time starts now. Right, OK. Well, that's quite sharp. OK, so they have to slice a loaf of bread that was in the lab, but they were only allowed to take one item to slice it with, and that item had to be found in the caravan. Lovely. It's a standard task. Yep. Do you want to see Ashling doing almost that? Yeah! <laughs> I already... I just only okay. realised what the task was. <laughs> <laughs> there is a loaf of bread in the lab. Interesting. Without a doubt, I'm going to use this pan. Oh, the bread smells delicious. I mean, there's one slice. I don't want to waste this bread. Ow! Fuck myself. <laughs> there's blood on the loaf. Ow! Ow! I've cut myself again. <laughs> there be any sadder sight <laughs> than a blood-covered loaf of bread <laughs> in the wrong room? <laughs> any points? No, she didn't take... No. didn't go to the lab. No? No points. No. No points to Ashley. Oh, do, you no points. Want, do you want to see uh, Mark and Nish? Uh, yes. OK. Here we go. This is a red herring. You can't really slice bread with bread, as the phrase is. This is possible, I think, is it? It's not ideal. I assume it would be too convenient for there just to be a knife knocking around. I think I'm going to go with that. All right, I'm going to give it a try with this. To the lap. <laughs> yes, that's the right. Alex. There he is. Can you the book? Through the Christian year. And what do you slice in the bread with? I'm hoping to slice it with this, uh So that's... That's a slice, isn't it? It's not easy, and you can see why people do use bread knives. <laughs> oh! A perfectly sliced piece of bread! You're 20 seconds, bro. Oh, shit and piss! What can I do with that? That's sort of a slice, isn't it? So not too bad, actually. You're slicing the... Well, that's sort of a slice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty confident I'd be in last place, but I reckon without somebody being in the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the wrong area altogether. Yeah, yeah, you've got a chance. But niches were very neat. You used uh, Through the Christian Year, poems old and new by Godfrey Bradby and Joseph Hunkin, published in 1933. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yours wasn't the most obvious choice of, of knife. It was a, a No, in the sense it, was it wasn't grill. a knife, it was more a grill. Yeah. yeah. I, um... Pretty blunt. I have to say, I'm increasingly starting to understand why we're being grouped together in the way me too, it's presented. Me too. Because when you got that grill out, I was like, this guy's a fucking genius. Do you want to see the grown ups, Sally and Bob? Oh, what, mate? Well, I just. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Here we go. Nothing. Slice it with a sausage, slice it with. I was thinking maybe a toothbrush could do it. Maybe string could do it, yeah. Right, well, I better get going. Could try with that. Hey! I'm going to have to hack at it, so at least I got one. Party of four, is it, madam? Yes, certainly. Would you like a slice of bread for each of your party? 
still need to do this. Thank you. The fact that Sally had protective gloves on, had we learnt from a previous accident? <laughs> <laughs> so they both uh, created four hunks of bread. Yeah, very much a dental theme with yours, Bob. I thought the string would work, but it was incredibly <laughs> ineffective. Well, this is one of the yeah. problems. They were only allowed to use one item mm. from the caravan. Oh. Right. And I'm afraid they did both use two. Oh, dear. I know. Oh, right. mm. You know, the rules are rules, right? Yeah, I suppose they are. <laughs> um, that means that uh, zero points for the following individuals. So this is <laughs> unprecedented. <laughs> this is our moment. <laughs> Ashling, wrong room B, zero. Uh, Bob? Zero. zero. Sally, zero. In second place, Mark with four <laughs> points. <laughs> and Nish Kumar takes the victory okay, with got five points. Yeah. Got, <laughs> got a scoreboard update? Yeah, well, it's tightened things up. There are three points separating all five. It looks like this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, And can we have another one, please? Yeah, we've got a quick one, and you're going to be proud of me. It's the first team task of the series. Oh! Yay. Here we go. Please stand behind the cone and be very careful. Look who I found! Little old Bob! Hello! Just hanging around having a dump. Sally! <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Are you all right? Lovely to see you, yeah, Sally. Yeah, you too. Hello, Mish. Mark, please stand behind your cone. All right. And be very careful. What's going on? Well, yes. Here we go. <laughs> you can just wait. <laughs> There. Cool. It's too wet now and it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Achieve the greatest splat. One teammate must be splattered for the splat to be valid. You have ten minutes to choose your splatting materials and then ten minutes to pull off your pull splat. Pull off your splat. Your, your time starts now. Right. So I will tell yeah. you, we're going to do the splatting somewhere else and whoever's dropping, splatting, they're going to be high up. High up, so we have to get as high as no, splat We're going to provide one of these. An actual, oh, an actual you're crane. Right. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Are you all right with heights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sally, you all right with heights? No. Yoghurt is a good splatting material. A big bucket full of yoghurt. A bucket full of yoghurt. Yeah. Sort of Ambrosia rice. Rice it's traditional, pudding. isn't it? We could throw lots of balloons full of cream. What colour balloons? All green, apart from one that's yellow, and that's the piss bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'd like two big buckets okay. and yeah. all the non-set yoghurt, all the... Money them. can buy. Yeah. <laughs> swords? And Please swords. don't forget those, though. The condoms, no, small balloons and big balloons. Bad quality, yeah, so it won't be much good for the company. Interesting suggestions have one balloon full of piss. <laughs> yeah, not a traditional splatting substance. Well, you've never heard of a splat. We were like trying this. to get away from the Knowles house party gunge splat. Yeah. We agreed that Bob was going to gently piss a tiny bit into a balloon <laughs> in the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so you were going to be dropping. It's called warm fun. <laughs> In certain circles, that's what they do call it. <laughs> so, just one more part left. See you there for the last bit of the show. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, part four, then. Here we go. Weren't we... Uh... We're in the middle of a team task. You're right, and it was a messy team task. They've been busy splatting, Greg. Do you want to see... <laughs> 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 
Ashling, Ashling, Bob and Sally? I, I mean, of course, immediately. <laughs> OK. What do you reckon? Yeah. She's so dead. We're going to kill her. We're going to absolutely kill her. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Go. erotic condom in <laughs> swinging scenes <laughs> I've ever seen. Presumably from a piss-drenched woman. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got Mark and Nish. M M and N. M and N, or N and M. But here they are. I I'm going to try the first dab of the yoghurt. Yeah, OK. So I'm just going to watch this come down and position yeah. myself. OK. If we do that again, I'll get splattered real nice. Go for it, Watson. <laughs> OK, that's most of one bucket. OK, Watson. I'm ready, mate. Incoming. Slap me. OK, we've hit the... It seems like we've hit the right trajectory for <laughs> having yoghurt thrown yeah. at you from... When it hit the visor, I have to say, it was quite a bit like being shot at, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lot of food uh, in this one. We have donated money to a food bank, just to, so you know, because it didn't feel great <laughs> pouring that much yoghurt onto a man. <laughs> <laughs> split the splats, Greg. I'll split the splats. I don't know what to do. I think they were both brilliant, but I sometimes think that there is an art in simplicity. <gasps> and... I think that that final awful image of Mark Watson <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by, uh, <laughs> by yoghurt it was uh, quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I thought the other one was great as well and, you know, Sally took a face full of piss for the show. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say three points to the two gentlemen, two points to the trio. OK, done. Bang. <laughs> It's that time in the show when I send you up to the stage for the final task of the show, so please go to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> Wow. I can only imagine what the task is. Who's going to read it out? I think Bob is. Bob. That's all right with you, Bob. OK, there we go. With your face placed firmly in your hole at all times... <laughs> ..paint the most 
recognisable animal, vegetable or mineral, you must incorporate your face in the picture. Most accurate representation of an animal, vegetable or mineral wins. You have three minutes. Let's get going. Yeah? Yeah. OK. That time starts now. Good luck, everyone. Give, given the amount of things they could draw, Alex, that there's going to be no replication, is there? <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah! You paint the green bit! Paint you! Paint the green bit! Paint you! Paint you, Ireland! Six. <laughs> Great. <laughs> left. Four. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> uh, please, uh, will you all join us back down here and we'll see what that's done to the final floor. Lovely, lovely art. Um, can we have a look at all those pictures first, please? Yes, so right? here they all are. <laughs> You've got to judge which is the most recognisable. Well, I think we've got to be absolutely literal about this. The most recognisable. There are four pictures there that are as, rec you know, I recognise immediately. Which ones are they? <laughs> well, there are... <laughs> 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 there are three carrots. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ashling, there yes. is a cat with a giant penis. <laughs> yes, yes. So they're all five points as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Now, Thank you. Bob's is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I know what it is. Right. <laughs> and, if, and if it is that thing... But how are you going to... Because if, if you say what it is, he'll just say, yes, it is. Ah, uh, but I'm going to get Bob to say it at the same time as me. Uh -huh. After three? Three. Three, two, one. Ice, Ice cream. cream cone. <gasps> yeah. Oh. I had some doubt in my mind about Bob, so I'm going to have to give him one point less, because there was doubt in my mind, because, well, <laughs> his painting shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a problem with Nish and Sally painting each other? No, I don't. No? It's only a game, isn't it? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I dread to think, how does that affect the final scores, Alex? OK, it's been a tight one, but there is one clear winner, and that winner, you can see here, is... Oh! It's Sally for that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sally wins. Go and grab your prizes and feel good about yourself, Sally. <laughs> What have we learnt today? We've learnt that wherever poor young lazy's machine, that's his home. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing that we've learnt is that Sally has won tonight's episode. Well done to her and goodbye to you. Goodbye! <laughs>